the preferred method for making field joints for both Minoxavent's underduct and corrosion duct is the ASTM D3982 butt and wrap method. Our intention is to pass along field setup and working procedures that will supplement our written instructions supplied with the joint materials. Let's first review the field joint materials provided. There is an envelope containing written field joint instructions and material safety data sheets for resin and catalyst. Please review the MSDS sheets paying particular attention to skin and eye exposure. The instructions will tell you how many layers of glass mat are required for each size joint. You will receive rolls of glass mat, resin, MEK catalyst, a hard roller, and a starter supply of buckets and brushes. You will need to provide acetone for cleaning tools and hands, as well as any additional brushes, buckets, and latex gloves. Store resin and catalyst in an approved job site location, avoiding extreme heat and cold. Glass materials should always be kept dry. Lay out your duct system, making sure to support the joints in order to restrict movement. Grind the duct outer surface approximately four inches on each side of the joint. If necessary, secure joints with temporary metal clips to prevent movement. Cut the glass mat strips in 18 to 24 inch laminating lengths. Also cut six inch long strips for hot patches. Review the written instructions for the number of layers for each size joint. Add one to 2% catalyst to approximately one quart of resin. At 70 degrees, you will have approximately 10 minutes of work time before the mixture begins to gel. Cooler temperatures will require closer to 2% catalyst, while warmer temperatures will require less catalyst. Saturate one strip at a time on a pre-cut piece of cardboard, staggering the strip side to side and end to end until you have the recommended number of layers. Lift the completed weld strip or hot patch and apply to the pre-ground joint area. Using the hard roller, roll out all the air from the wet laminate. After the hot patches have cured, remove the metal clips and finish the joint lamination. Thoroughly inspect all joints after they have been completed, grinding back and patching any air pockets or delaminations. For all above ground applications requiring a gel coat finish, be sure to grind any rough or sharp spots before applying the gel coat. Remember, proper field setup can save hours of installation time. Always be aware of the weather and never work in wet conditions. If temperatures are below 60 degrees, you will have to heat the joint area in order to start the curing process. At the end of the work session, you should always remember to clean your tools, store glass materials in a dry place, store resin and catalyst in an approved storage area, and always dispose of used materials in environmentally correct ways. For more information, please contact us at underduct.com or call us at 309-794-1000.